If I can just have your attention for a few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the Right Honourable David Blunkett MP, who for four years as Home Secretary ran the prison system in this country and who for the next 10 days is also going to help run this prison. Mr Blunkett. Thank you for being involved in the experiment. We believe it's absolutely crucial for your life, but also for other people who will see what has happened, who will learn from what has happened, and I hope will actually take those lessons to heart. If one of you changes your lifestyle and changes your future, then this experiment will have been worthwhile. And I'd like each and every one of you to think whether you're going to be that one. If all of you do, then this experiment will have been beyond anything that we could have expected. Thank you. Come this way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, left. What the teenagers don't know is that they will not be alone inside Scarborough Prison. In three days, they'll be joined by ten men who have served more than 100 years between them. Ten men who now work with young offenders and prisoner rehabilitation programmes and who wish they'd had a chance like this. I think it would have helped me a lot. It made me more aware of the consequences of my actions. If I was back at that age and somebody came in with experience and stories, maybe I would have changed my ways. Something like that that happened to me at 17, I believe for definite that I probably would not have had to spend nearly 20 years in and out. The boys are returned to their cells and get their first taste of the routine that will govern their lives over the next 10 days. Who's knocking? Me. Me to go to a loop. When they will spend up to 18 hours a day locked up. Every morning I expect your bed to be made up properly, all right? With the lads banged up in their cells, Governor Wilson can continue his welcome chats. What's your name? Jamie Owens. Jamie Owens. Tell me a wee bit about yourself. I live in Sunderland, um, live in Mam, go to college. Um, You're a good boy then. You live with your mum, you go to college, no, you don't get into any trouble. No. So why are you here? I've got something written here, Jamie. Numerous fights in the local area, theft of a car. Is that right? Mm. Well, that's not very good, is it? Tell me a wee bit about your dad. I can't tell, really. Your dad served eight years in prison, it says here. Some, sorry, something like that. You've got an opportunity to make sure that you never spend any time in prison. You can change your life around. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Wilson will be assisted by a team of experienced former prison officers who will run the unit just like a real prison, which means that inmates will be given work details. Are you willing to work? Yeah. Because as you read in there, if you work, you get paid. Yeah. You would get allocated a job. It could range from textiles to workshops to scrap yards to, to cleaning. Hot plate server. Three miles a day when everybody gets fed. It needs to be served to the rest of the people on the wing. A lot of other choices. I like my last job that I had in the jail was working on the hot plate. I served the food. Uh, so for the majority of the day, you just sat about doing nothing and then you only need to work when it comes to dinner time and tea time.